Yo, good morning. It's a new day, but I'm still chasing the same goal, the 200 kg squat. So I was thinking about documenting one of my workouts. In one of my leg workouts, I did a 190 kilogram squat, which is my current PR. Hopefully you guys will like it and see what I'm going through in my workouts. Before I go to the workout, I have to eat and I need to get a little bit of trim. It's been like a month or two since I got it shaven. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna see you in the gym. Let's go. Yo, what's up gang? It's been a few hours since my workout. I chilled a little bit, ate some food, and I went through the footage of the workout. I'm gonna do a full recap with you and explain everything in detail. I always start my workouts with a full body warm up, Dynamic, all the way from my neck, all the way down to my ankle. And then, because today we did the lower body. I always start the warm up with knee extensions. If you're more of a beginner, you can use a light band. If you're advanced, you can use a thicker band. I do from 10 to 15 or more reps and around three or four sets, depending how I feel, how my knees feel. This is primarily for activating and warming up the quads. After that, I always do ankle mobilization. You can do that against a wall. When you're doing a lot of calf workouts, your calves will be tight. Your knees won't go over your toes. I'm gonna start with the snatch. I do three working sets and one warm up. It's pretty hard when you want to do everything from weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting, calisthenics. It's hard to improve. In this workout, I did three working sets from a lower weight all the way to a higher weight. Every time I start a new training cycle, it's hard. Coming into the squat, I had no explosive power. My form needs to be a little bit better but for only doing it once a week, I think it's fine. In the first set, I did 55 kilograms for five reps. The weight went straight up, so I didn't make like a big circle when pulling up. I didn't lose balance, I didn't have to really jump, but even at 55, I already felt that it was kinda heavy. So after finishing the power snatch, I still need to do a power clean which my maximum which i did for one rep was 120 i do it without the the jerk just because i don't think i need it another thing with power cleans you see me keeping my elbow up when i go under the bar four sets one warm-up and then i did three working sets from a lower weight all the way up and I knew that five reps will be hell. And the fifth, I couldn't go under the bar. I wasn't quick enough, already tired, and I just gave up. I rather give up and not get injured. You know, I had to work on mobility, I had to stretch more, just because from pull-ups and everything from weighted Cali, my lats were tight, my shoulder, my tricep, which is usually a problem with everyone so with a squat i start warming up with 100 kg just slow movements pause it at the bottom just to feel the weight i did five pretty easy reps but already 
I felt that it was heavy. I knew that I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay, first working set with squats, 130 kg. As you see, the knees are not going in, but if you're squatting and you're not pushing the, the knees out, you can get one of the knees collapsed in and then injuries can happen. I always finish my workout with adding more weight, so 200 kg on the bar, and I just want to lift it up, you know, take a step back, do like half reps with it, just to get my body accustomed and familiar with the weight. So when I do the 200 kg uh, squat in two weeks, hopefully, I don't want it to be, you know, a surprise, the weight. I want to lift it up. Okay, I know this weight. I know how it feels. I can do it. So at the end, I do calves. I do calves three times a week. This is how my calves used to look and how they look now. So I had to do a lot of work on them for the past year. I also have a workout program. So if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be in the description below. Same as my hybrid program for strength and mass. You can check it out in the description below. I have a few hundred and thousands of people using it. So if you wanna check it out, check it out in the description. Calf raise, again, I did three sets of 12 to 15. And then of course I stretch. I stretch my hamstring, calves, quads, everything, 10, 15 minutes. And that's my full workout for today. As you see, I have to make some changes. I can't have power snatch and power clean before my squats anymore. It's just too draining. It needs a lot of explosive strength. So when I come to the squats at the end, I'm already dead. So no way I can do 200 kg squat like that. So I have to put squats at the beginning and then leave the snatch and power clean at the end. Do you guys think I can do the 200 kg squat? If you think yeah, then leave a thumbs up. If you think no, then comment down below why not. And subscribe to the channel because episode 2 is coming next week. Thank you for watching. Gang gang.